adding and programming WVLs. With a new installation, it's best to place all the new wireless valve links close to the controller, within 20 feet or 7 meters, to guarantee the best communications for initial programming. Open the Hunter WVL app on your phone, and it will immediately begin scanning for an installed wireless valve output module via Bluetooth. Once you see the correct module listing, press Connect next to the serial number. The blue LED will light up on the module to show that it's connected. In rare cases, there may be more than one wireless valve output module within range, so you need to confirm that the serial number listed in the app matches up with one on the actual module you're installing. Once connected to a phone, the selected module's blue LED will light up to verify the Bluetooth connection. After the app is connected, press the WVL icon at the bottom of the screen. Any existing wireless valve links will display. If this is your first installation, the page will be blank. Press the plus button to add a new wireless valve link. Now remove the battery cover on the wireless valve link to access the assignment mode. It's easiest to install the left battery first. To do this, orient the device so that the manual start finger icon is on the left side with the solenoid wires extending to the right. Then, insert the battery into the left side of the compartment. After you successfully install the first battery, the light will flash to show that the power is on. For now, continue without installing the second battery. We'll address what to do with it shortly. Next, press and hold the right button above the gear icon for two seconds. Then, release. The LED will light up in yellow. This indicates that the wireless valve link is now in assignment mode, where it will remain for the next five minutes. It's important that you put only one wireless valve link in assignment mode at a time, or the assignments will fail. In the phone app, press the scan button at the bottom of the page to find the wireless valve link currently in assignment mode. After a few seconds, the screen will show the device with its serial number at the top of the page. In a new wireless valve link, the stations won't be assigned yet, so they'll be called Null. If your WVL is a multi-station model, it will show Null for each station address. On this page, go to each station number, then tap Select. Choose the desired station number for that output. Press Done when the station number is correct. You can also leave an unused station set to Null, which can be used for possible future expansion. When all station assignments are completed, press Save, and the wireless valve output module will send the station assignments to the wireless valve link. The assignment light will flash several times, then turn off if the assignment is successful. After a WVL is successfully assigned, you can use a permanent marker to write the station numbers in the space provided on the battery compartment cover. This will help you identify the correct devices when you go to install them in the valve boxes or perform future service. If the wireless valve link will be installed close to the controller, less than 1,000 feet or 300 meters, with a relatively clear line of sight to the controller, you can install the second battery. Then replace the battery compartment cover, securing the retainer ring. Be careful not to misalign the O-rings when replacing the cover, or the retainer ring threads can damage them. To learn more, visit HunterIndustries.com.